I just don't think he's the guy down there. Yes, he's a big 250-pound guy, but he runs like a 210-pound guy. Well, he's not a guy that can run laterally very well, and the line can't either. So far, Matt Bryant, who is an unknown coming into this season, is three for three. Long drive for the Giants. They put up three on St. Louis. Pick up the whole thing. Let's get back a chunk of it. Not only now have you put your team in field goal position, and now third and two, you have a chance to pick up the first down as well. And if they run it, the guy in charge of trying to get that first down will be Ron Dane. His first in the NFL, touchdown New York. No chance, Troy, no chance. They're gonna split Jeremy Shockey out wide. They're gonna try and keep a linebacker on him. This is a guy that runs like a wide receiver. Tommy Polly, a very good athlete. A little slant and up, and that is not even close. If you wanna know why all the hype has been surrounding this young man, there it is. And Jeremy Shockey told me before the game he likes to just get lined up and beat people. They gave him a chance right there. Get set, run by someone, we'll throw you the football. Penalty flag on that extra point. The kick was good, and we'll see who committed the foul. It's against St. Louis, it appears. And it is an offside. And all the rules are off now covering tight ends. Better not be walking with linebackers out there to cover him. Offside. Defense. The nose guard. We will cover the flies five yards on the kickoff. The kickoff after the touchdown. There are cornerbacks who can't cover this guy, let alone linebackers. You know why they love him. Buccaneers get their first one under him. That's where the Rams will be next Monday night. Oh, 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 oh. On first down. Time for Warner. Not anymore. And it's Holmes who wraps him up. There was time there, but no one to throw to. And Kenny Holmes gets his first of the year. Well, and that's the guy who they've been waiting for something to happen. Kenny Holmes right here, right defensive end. He's the one who was there last year. They brought him in from Tennessee. He had two and a half sacks last year. With the attention that Michael Strahan gets and the attention that Keith Hamilton gets inside, he oftentimes is single being blocked by one guy, and he has got to make more of a contribution this season and have an impact for this football team. It's an interesting blocking scheme, bringing Timmerman all the way across to try and block him after he builds up some momentum. Second down and 16. Strahan coming off the corner. That pass is tipped and picked off by Seahorn. Jason Seahorn. Touchdown. Touchdown, New York, a 30-yard return. Michael Strahan was a big influence in last year's matchup. He's another one here. He gets pressure on Kurt Warner, makes him step up. That ball's deflected. Jason Seahorn able to traverse and get back on that ball and take it in for a touchdown. And these Rams right now have not shown the emotion that they have not shown the last two weeks, and everybody thought they'd come out a little bit more spirited than what they have. Maybe they're just not that good. Matt Bryant tags on the extra points. This is getting serious here in St. Louis. 17-0 Giants. Field goal attempt is good. A 32-yard try. And the reason that Mike Bartz doesn't challenge in this situation is because he cannot. Once that whistle is blown, you can no longer challenge. That's a bad call. Giants lead by six. The day for Warner, 202 yards. The interception came on a tip pass. First down, Warner loses the ball, and the Giants take over. The Giants take over. And again, you wonder if that hand for Warner is okay. Well, you do, and, and in pregame warm-ups, Joe, watching Kurt Warner take snaps before the game, 
He fumbled a snap during the pregame warmups. You watch right here. It looked like the ball came up. You never really know in those situations on quarterback center exchanges, but you got to wonder after the pass on the previous play and then putting this ball on the ground. And if you would have thought a game deciding play would have been a quarterback fumble on a snap, you probably would have thought it would have been Kerry Collins and not Kurt Woods. Terrific football game here today as well. So far, Matt Bryant is four for four in the NFL. He's becoming reliable for Jim Fossil, who told us, I get out to the pregame warm-ups a little earlier watching my kicker. He's three for three today. But you can't feel too comfortable if you're Jim Fossil giving the ball back to the Rams and a touchdown beat you. Well, a touchdown here, you're right. It, it puts you up nine points. They've got to score twice. Now they're down one score. Rookie snapper, holder, and kicker. High snap. The kick is drilled. And the Giants have to be thrilled. And they're able to exhale thanks to the work of Matt Bryant again here today. Well, you would have to believe that the Rams want to have any chance of winning this game. They've got to get this first down on fourth and inches. behind Warner. They give to Falk. Lost the football. Marshall Falk fumbled the football and the Giants have it. Michael Strahan comes away with it. And it looked like either way, fumble or not, the Giants were going to take control because Falk was stopped short of the first down. Well, there's just nowhere to run with the football. They're going to try to come out, give it to Falk along the left side there and they're just getting no movement there with Adam Timmerman and Andy McCollum nothing the defense gets the penetration and he can't get the first down so now the Giants have it at the Ram 40 and again St. Louis two timeouts remaining this would be an enormous upset here in St. Louis and the Giants who have only playoff team has it down by five with a minute 50 left no timeouts remaining. Oh. It was intended for him, and it was picked off by Peterson. Behind Holt, Peterson the interception, and the Giants will take over. And they're a minute 43 away from a one and one record and heading out of here with a huge upset. I, you know, I just wonder if Kurt's hand was bothering him. You know, we talked about it a little bit there, and that ball was as bad a pass as I've seen him throw all day long. And he had an opportunity here. We run in the comeback to and Torrey Holt, and he was open, and all you do is play pitch and catch. You've seen Kurt Warner make that throw a thousand times, and yet it was way behind him, and Torrey had no chance whatsoever. And you just got to wonder if maybe the hand is a factor. Well, you know, he does try and throw that ball before the receiver breaks. And if the receiver breaks off the route a little bit earlier, it's not exactly where it is. You've got to throw it not really knowing where the guy is going to end up. But when you're talking about maybe the MVP of this game, as far as I'm concerned, Will Peterson was phenomenal.